help organizations improve efficiency, effectiveness and innovation by mapping relationship patterns. Let me give you a quick example. This organization is a professional services company with offices along the east coast of Australia. The circles on the map represent people and they are colored by the location of the office they work in. We have drawn lines between those people who work together to deliver services to clients. When I click on a person, we can explore that person's connections. And here all these connections appear to be within the same office. So what you are seeing here is a map of actual work relationships between staff, which is quite different to a business process diagram or an organizational chart. It basically makes the invisible visible. Let's see all the connections again. At a first glance, it looks like everyone is pretty well connected. But just see what happens when we remove the people in business development and in general management roles. Suddenly we can see that the officers are a lot less connected. Let's have a closer look at the people who are performing the design role. You can see that there aren't many connections and those who are connected are primarily working with people in their own office. So, what we have learned here is that the people in general management and business development roles are brokering connections between the various offices. This is of course critically important when it comes to bringing the best possible capability and experience to client engagement. But without performing this brokering role, the various offices are mostly working in isolation. Now, what about your organization? Are your people connecting and sharing best practice to gain further efficiencies or innovation? Or perhaps you've been through a merger and acquisition or a restructure. Have people built connections that will deliver results or are they still working according to the old world? If you can't see it, you can't manage it.